M is a critically acclaimed singer-songwriter and classical pianist from London, but she is here in the States and has new music. Hi, Em, how Hi, are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you for coming. Yeah. Um, did you really learn to play the piano when you were four? Yeah, four years old, I started classical piano. By the time I was 11, I had my first degree. <laughs> Wait, you have a degree at 11? Yeah. Oh my goodness! It was kind of crazy childhood. Wow! <laughs> so wait, how does a child at four get into that? I mean, is it your parents at that point, so or do you just like it? We had a piano in the house. Apparently, I just sat down at three, I think, originally, and I was like, I want to have lessons. And they were like, okay. <laughs> Got me lessons, and instantly everyone was like, there's something here. It's and then just that was a, it. It's just a gift. Apparently, it was, yeah. It was just, I don't even remember. Really? You know? No. I mean, at that age, I don't remember it at all. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And so then, but I mean, when you're moving through from four to eleven, and classical piano is a very specific skill set. Yeah. And obviously, you had to be dedicated to it yeah. to continue on. Otherwise, most kids are like, "Forget this. Is too hard." Yeah. It was super dedication. I mean, when I was ten, I was waking up at five a.m. before elementary school to practice, go to school, come home back at like four, practice all evening wow. to take all my exams. Like it was, it was very intense. What's the hardest piece you play? Classical um, piece. Prokofiev Toccata, Opus 11, is this crazy, it's a modern piece, and it's literally like, oh. it's like 11 pages long, it's probably more, and it's it's one of the hardest pieces in the piano repertoire. I played that for my second degree when I was 15. Wow! <laughs> it was like, it was, that was actually the biggest challenge ever, I think. It, it was a struggle. Wow. Yeah. I've never heard it, but I imagine like this. I, I already in my head know what it is. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> okay, so um, now you've kind of translated that into this new world of music for you. Um, and I know there's a new album coming out, Reborn. Yes. We're yeah. excited about it. Tell me about translating your skill set on the piano into this kind of music. So it started when I was about 13. I started writing songs. I think I just wanted an outlet, a vocal outlet, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so I just started writing and it just, that's how it kind of came about. And then I just, I found it the most amazing way for me to just release my emotions to get to express how I was feeling. Right. So my debut EP that came out last year, what I want to say to you, was all about my experience with rape. And I didn't intend to release an album, but it was just when I was going through all of that, I naturally resorted to writing songs to release all the things I was feeling. Right. Um, so it's really been a very like therapeutic and cathartic experience Ex for me. Right. Um, and then I thought if I can release this and help other people to get in touch with these emotions and to not feel alone and whatever, then I want to do that. So that's what I did. And then with Reborn, it's the follow-up album. It's a concept album about how I regained my strength and my sexuality and my power through music. Um, it's all about creation and um, again, I write the songs naturally just when I'm feeling something that I want to say right. and then to compile it together to something that I think can inspire and help and uplift others is really my, that's really the ultimate goal for me. And it's a very unique sound because yeah, taking classical piano and trying to mold it with this voice and also I'm an actor so there's a lot of theatricality behind it, right. so it's a very unique Sound. Is it rock, pop? What, I mean, the new the new album. Yeah. What is it? So I mean, literally, we describe it as like rock, pop, jazz, classical theatre. <laughs> because you just like take the kitchen sink and throw it, it in. It is there. because I I trained in jazz for a while. The, my the people in my band all have varied backgrounds, so it is a very unique style. It's kind of think like Queen or Bowie or like any of those people. Awesome. Um, it's with that theatricality, but also the fact, you know, Queen came in into something completely new. Totally. But no one had ever done that before. People didn't think it was going to work. They came out of Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, and they were like, EMI what were is like, this? No. Right. That's kind of what I'm trying to do. Like, people are like, this doesn't exist. We can't sell this. I'm like, you just don't know yet. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm excited about yes. this. Okay. And you said the album, it's a concept album. So I want to know, because obviously you, your, your music and your music videos that I have seen at least have been super theatrical. Like, yeah big like crazy outfits and like makeup and hair and yeah. so what's the concept for reborn what do you have one specific does it yeah. Morph. So, I mean, it's as I said, the con like what it's about is the, the re regaining right. of those things. And but so what it's do you kind look of like, like? I want to hear about the clothes. It's sort of like a phoenix vibe, you Ooh. know, because it's like risen from the ashes. You've been burned down, and then it's this rising up. Oh, um, so think gold, think big, think fire. Oh, <laughs> I'm excited about it. I, in my head, I see like wings. Yeah. You got to get a pair of wings. Yeah. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, uh, okay, so it's coming out in January. It's later this month. 
Yeah. Right? Oh my gosh, so exciting. Yes. Well, um, we are going to have to obviously follow your journey. And and where can people get the album? Where can, where can so you find it? So it'll be on Spotify, iTunes, everywhere. It's everywhere. under M. It's just capital E, yeah. Um, and the website? mthemaster.com. M the master. That's all my social media. That's fantastic. Um, yes. And I also <laughs> love that your band is called M and the Gems. Yes. Did you by any chance watch Gem and the Holograms in the UK? No, but everybody has talked to me about this. They're like, Gem and the Holograms. I'm like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh my gosh. I will share with you Gem and the Holograms and you have the whole vibe already going. Yeah. And your band. I, I need to check that out. For <laughs> check sure. it out. <laughs> All right, Em. Well, thank you for coming. Good luck to you. Thank We're going to be watching. I cannot wait to see the music videos. Yeah. Thanks for having me. All right. <laughs>